uh, screencast 10 in this I'm solving the problem 10.36 of the book uh, it says a rigid body consists of three equal masses M fastened at the positions A00 0A to A 0 to A A and I'll be trying to find the principal moments and the, the principal axis of this system at first I need to find the oh Okay, before that, uh, what principal axis is? Uh, principal axis is the direction at which when omega is pointing along that direction, our uh, angular momentum would be in the same direction. So in order to do that, at first, I need to find the inertia tensor of this system. So for the in inertia tensor for this system, can be found using these formulas for Ix x component it's the summation of all mass elements and y square plus g square and then I find 10 ma square similarly x y component would be 0 and x z component would be 0 y y component is 0 y sorry y x component is 0 and y y component is again 6 ma square and using doing that for all other components I finally get the inertia tensor to be uh, this over here and for the simplicity I have assumed ma is square to be mu so that I can further simplify the inertia tensor in this form now after that I need <coughs> after that I assume my this lambda as eigen, eigen value and uh, to find this eigen value I have to solve the characteristic equation that means determinant of this inertia tensor minus lambda times unit vector is equals to zero so at first I find the inertia tensor minus lambda times unit vector so I would be getting this and when I solve this characteristic equation I find the eigenvalues and my first eigenvalue is 10 mu and my second eigenvalue is 2 mu and my third eigenvalue is 10 mu again. The first and third eigenvalues are same, so I can I don't need to solve different. Uh, I can only solve one eigen equation for these two. So, as already assumed, my mu is m a square, so my first eigenvalue would be 10 m a square. Now, solving the equation to find the principal axis, uh, I'll have to um, matrix multiply i minus lambda times unit vector with omega which is the angular velocity in, no. yeah it's, it's the angular velocity or in this case okay after I do that I'd be getting two different equations and th both those equations are same which represent y of omega in y equals to omega in z and my omega of x is I don't have an equation for that. So when I when I let omega x one and omega y and omega z are equal to each other, so when I assume them one, then my principal direction is going to be one by root three, one one one. Similarly, when when the uh, similarly for second second eigenvalue lambda two equals to two mu, I'll have uh, omega x equals to zero and omega y equals to omega z. So again, the principal axis in that case is going to be 1 over square root of 2, 0, 1, 1. And that's it. And that's how you find eigenvalues and principal axis.